kind of make your mind up about where I'm going to position these ties, whether one's going to be near the shoulder, top of the shoulder, or sitting here where it is at the moment. Hello fashion sewers, I hope you are well. If you're new to my channel, hello, I'm Colleen G. Lee. Let's get into the video. So this amazing fringe top, oh, I just love, I love the movement of it. It's gorgeous. <laughs> the movement is just so much fun. And I'm going to be adding it to this top. It's a well-fitted top. This is the right side and it's too grey for me. Um, I think it will dominate the top too much and I want the fringing to be the main attraction. So I am going to be wearing this on the wrong side. Um, there are not going to be too many issues with that. No, there isn't really. Um, because it's a raglan sleeve, so therefore it's coming from the shoulder and the um, across your, ch your, your chest like so. So as you can see there, so it's not set in. So there's not going to be too much of a restriction. You won't feel it as much if it, as if it was. Um, if there's going to be anything, it's going to be the neck. The neck may feel as though it's strangling me. Um, um, but no, it doesn't. It feels, it feels quite comfortable, so I'll be able to get away with it. So it means then, with this fringing, and because it's it's backless, it means I'm going to have to sew it onto this top, and I think it's going to be more hand sewing than there is going to be machine sewing. Because I was thinking maybe having it separate and then I could wear this with something else but because it's backless and also there is a little bit of stretch in this actually but not a, not enough to yeah it could be too restricting so I need to cut this has to be cut and then I'll try it on and let's see where the placement is for me to sew it into place so let me get my scissors and let's start cutting i've decided to try it on as you can see i'm wearing it on the wrong side and i'm going to place it like so that movement it's gorgeous I was trying to make my mind about where I'm going to position these ties, whether one is going to be near the shoulder, top of the shoulder, or sitting here where it is at the moment. Let me know in the comments which one you prefer. I know this will be made by the so <laughs> You get an opportunity to comment. Um, well, I like them both. I mean, you do. Yeah. They are both staying. I like them both. I like the position about asymmetrical and find it asymmetrical look to a garment. So yeah, that's okay. So like I said, this is backless. So I'm going to have to sew it in position. It looks most looks like most of it is going to be hand sewing as well. I don't want it too high up. And excuse me one minute because I'll be just looking in a mirror or left mirror here. Make sure that I've got the placement of this correct. Don't want it too high up. Yeah. It's, it's naturally sitting there, which I'm comfortable doing. Yeah, that's fine. Obviously, I'll get rid of these once I start sewing. Yeah, it feels okay. So, it's just getting pins in position to make sure it doesn't move. And I'm going to place it down in position. Right, so I want it to be here, which is about the length of the top. So I'm going to have to cut, there's going to be two layers of fringing that's going to be left, I would say. That one and that one. 
Okay, so it'll come here. And I'll have to make something out of the bottom half. Yeah. That's okay. And then when that falls, yeah, that's, that's fine. Then there's going to be an extra layer of fringing at the back, so I'm going to be adding that to the front to lengthen it just a little bit. So let me get some pins and then pin that into place. The placement of the bows are cute, I didn't like that. There you go, yeah. this to the top and yeah it looks like it's going to be hand sewing a back stitch I would say yeah even with the, the straps on as well which I'll probably only just place tax in position there because they are really stable they're not going anywhere so I won't have to sew those in position just, just along here, around the armhole of this top and down the sides. And that'll be it. Okay, let's get cutting. I'm here to inspire, motivate and share ideas for refashioning clothing. If you are into that sort of thing, consider subscribing and let's get back to the video. So I'm going to make sure I don't get any of the fringing behind or even on this section here. So I said I was going to leave two layers of fringing to the bottom half and that will be used in another project. So I want to make sure the zip's down about halfway I would say. Yeah, thereabouts. Making sure I don't cut fringing. Okay, so the so that's the bottom section. Just remember not to zip that up, otherwise it'll come flying off. And we're left with this one. And it is going to involve hand sewing and this section here is going to be lengthened it's going to be added onto section here it's going to be added onto this section to make it longer So I want to make sure I don't cut into any of the fringing because that's what makes this garment, this top. Right, going on it there. Yeah, that's fine. Not to see. Right. Excellent. I'm going to add this onto the bottom here just to make it longer and I'm going to machine sew this into place. Yeah, just about the same length as the actual top. Put a couple of pins in. It's just going to be a straight stitch. Yeah. To do a zigzag stitch, but I just don't want to flatten this detail here. 
So it's just one straight stitch on my sewing machine. Okay, so that's in place. And then once that is sewn, that's nice. Yeah, once that is sewn in place, then it is a case of hand stitching. I possibly, can I get away with doing that on the sewing machine? Um, that might be a bit tricky. No, I'm going to do it by hand. Possibly could get away with put sewing just along the top here on the machine, but it's going to be really tricky to get around this area here. And plus, I don't want to be stitching into this it'll just look too messy so i'd rather work from, on, from the back of it yeah that's what i'll do okay sewing machine the rest of it is going to be hand sewn i'm going to base it in position if i do my hand sewing And then I'm going to hand sew this section first, try it on to make sure that this lies correctly, the side seams or the sides of the top. Okay, so let's turn it to the wrong, oh the right side in this case, <laughs> it is the new wrong side. And then I'll be getting to the pins out. I think I'll do that first. And it's just a case of hand sewing. Okay, I've now finished all of my hand sewing. That looks cute. So I'm going to try it on so you can have a look. And then it's going to be ready to wear. So what I've done here, as you can see, I've improved the neck, got rid of that um, seam. I did a ladder stitch there. And for this, it was um, hand sewn, back stitch, and the section that shows you a sewed by machine. And yeah, it's done. Quite an easy project. So let's see how it looks on me. Let's see if it's a good result. Okay, go and try it on now. It's cute. It really has turned out well. It really has back to front, inside out, yeah, a success, feels comfortable, and I think we, we do have to remit all my hair, <laughs> oh. um, anyway, we do have to remember that when we are refashioning, when we are refashioning garments, that the, the aesthetics of how we tend to see things kind of goes through the window, and I don't think you should um, focus on that too much. You have to work with what you've got. Particularly if you're finding garments that you really do like and the fabric's gorgeous and sometimes it may not be fitting you correctly, but it feels comfortable and the aesthetics are 80% there, then just go for it because we need to be in a place where we are refashioning garments so that so many of them don't end up in landfill. And, and as you can see with my channel that I'm proving that point that 
we can refashion garments that they look amazing. And also, yeah, which is also key, something that you haven't seen before as well. So a lot more people are going for wanting original garments that nobody else has got. Refashioning is one way of doing it. Yeah, it's a success. So yes, this has been a success. Feels comfortable even though it's back to front, as you know. Um, there's not much advice I can really give you. Is it possible to do this on a sewing machine, all of it? Yes, it's just a bit tricky to get into those areas and um, it all depends if you want to kind of top stitching or edge stitching to be um, a feature or you just don't like hand sewing, <laughs> then yes, it is possible. But I wanted to, that neat, professional, clean look and that's what I've got and one way to achieve that is to hand sew. It didn't take too long. I didn't really time it, but it didn't really take too long. Um, so yeah, there's nothing else I could think of other than just go for it. So if you're a person who likes fringing, um, yeah, just go for it. And also, well, and that's another thing when you do hand sew, it does, um, possibly when you, when you sew a machine as well. Hmm. Um, but I think you spend more time kind of, because you're in a therapeutic state of mind more often than not when you are hand sewing. Um, so I'm going to make this into a bag. So I'm going to have a matching bag to go with this top. Now can I make this? Yeah. So yeah, I'm going to have to figure out how I'm going to do that. Because I want, I, want, I want the bag to have a bit of a structure. But we'll, we will see. <laughs> we will definitely see. So that looks as though it's going to be a bag. Um, so yeah, so if you enjoy this project, please give it a thumbs up and please do share this video with your friends, family, anybody that you think would be interested in refashioning garments, I'd love them to be part of my channel. So don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already done so and do remember to hit that join button where I have a membership and there are two levels so please do check that out and I will see you next time.